स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर ऑल सेफ एट योर होम सो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर वन नंबर एंड नंबर एन लेट इज स्टार्ट फर्स्ट आई एम टीचिंग यू रिविजन ऑफ बिग नंबर्स इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू हैव रीड अबाउट बिग नंबर्स एंड स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर एज यू नो द स्मॉलेस्ट टू डिजिट नंबर इज टेन द बिगेस्ट टू डिजिट नंबर इज नाइंटी नाइन द स्मॉलेस्ट थ्री डिजिट नंबर इज हंड्रेड द बिगेस्ट थ्री डिजिट नंबर इज नाइन हंड्रेड नाइंटी नाइन सिमिलरली यू कैन अरेन्ज मेनी नंबर द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड ग्रेटेस्ट हाउ मच यू बार हाउ मच यू अरेन्ज so we can write many numbers according to this formula so the smallest four digit number is 1000 greatest four digit number is 9999 similarly you can arrange all type of biggest and smallest number so i hope that if i shall give you homework then you will solve easily so topic number 2 system of numeration system of numeration means you can arrange two topic according to indian place value chart and according to international place value chart in indian place value chart first coming three digits from right side after two digits then two digits Suppose that this time, if you have given seven five eight nine six seven, then you have to arrange according to Indian place value chart. Then you have to write first three digits from right, then two digits, then two digits, then two digits. So number is ready. So I am going to describe you arranging this number. Look. So first I am going to write. Nine six seven. Then give comma. Then eight five. Then give comma seven. So you can read this number: seven lakh fifty eight thousand nine hundred sixty seven. As you know, first number is called ones. Second number is called tens. Third number is called hundreds. Fourth number is called thousands. Fifth number is called ten thousand. And sixth number is called lakh. so if you want to arrange other number you can arrange this type 8576001 so first you will write three digits 1 0 then give you comma then write 6 7 then write 5 8 now you can read Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. You can read eighty-five lakh seventy-six thousand and one. So I believe that you can arrange all type of a smaller number, bigger number very easily. So you have all understood about this. So now I am going to. सिस्टम ऑफ नोमिनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू इंटरनेशनल प्लेस वैल्यू चार्ट इंटरनेशनल प्लेस वैल्यू चार्ट फर्स्ट कमिंग वंस सेकंड कमिंग थाउजेंड्स थर्ड कमिंग मिलियंस एंड इन ऑल पीरियड्स You can arrange three three digits, just like here. Ones coming, one tens hundred, thousand coming, one thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand, and million coming. One million, ten 
टेन मिलियन एंड हंड्रेड मिलियन यू कैन राइट इन कॉपी इन स्टेप लाइन I have written here dancer, but you can not write dancer. You write a straight line, so you will understand. Now I am writing number: seven, five, eight, two, nine, six, three. You have to arrange according to international place where you are. Which time you can write? A starting time. You have to write three digits from right side. Then three digits. Then which number left that you can write? Look, three, six, nine. Then give comma two, eight, five. Then give comma then seven. It means this is ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. It means you can read this number according to Indian place by the chart: seven million five hundred eighty-two thousand nine hundred sixty-three. You can arrange other number also. This time, I am writing seven two five four three two one. So now I am arranging. First, you have to write three digits from right side. Then three digits, which number left you can write. Look, one, two, three, comma, four, five, two, comma, seven. Now you can read ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million. It means. Seven million two hundred fifty-four thousand three hundred twenty-one. Now I am going to some big numbers: eight, nine, six, three, two, five, one, nine, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Now I am arranging. Here I am writing two. Nine one five two three six nine eight. Now I am reading ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, ten million, hundred million. It means you will read this number according to international place where you are. Eight hundred ninety-six million. Three hundred twenty-five thousand one hundred ninety-two. Now I am going to third topic: successor and predecessor. As students, you have read about successor. Successors has been prepared from success. It means it means you will add one any given number. Predecessor means back. It means. You have to subtract one any given number. For example, <coughs> successor of one hundred means one hundred plus one. It means one hundred one. We have looked that the successor of one hundred is one hundred plus one. It means one hundred one. Successor. Of nine hundred ninety nine means nine hundred ninety nine plus one. It means one thousand. Now I am teaching you about predecessor. Predecessor. Predecessor of ninety nine. It means you have to subtract one ninety nine. Minus one means ninety-eight. Similarly, you can write predecessor of one hundred is equal to one hundred minus one is equal to ninety-nine. So, students, I have understood that you have learned about this clearly. 
not any doubtfully. So now I am teaching you topic number four. Comparison of numbers. You have to comparison any given number. You have to know about which is the big number and which is the smaller number. This is the symbol. Big number, a smaller number, and equal to. Here I am giving you some numbers. Look, one thousand and nine hundred ninety-nine. You have to say to put the symbol. It means ten thousand and nine hundred ninety-nine. So this is the bigger and this is the smaller. So you have to put bigger number. So now I am putting other number. Three hundred thirty-three and two hundred twenty-two. Clearly looking that this is a smaller and this is bigger. So this time, this time I am writing and now I am describing. Now I am going to teach you topic number five: ascending order and descending order. Ascending order means. A smaller to greater, and descending order means greater to a smaller. For example, look, three, five, ninety-nine, one hundred, one thousand. You have to arrange this number according to ascending order. It means you will write first three, then bigger number five, then bigger number ninety-nine, then bigger number hundred. Then bigger number one thousand. It means you have arranged this number according to ascending order. Now descending order. Descending order means first you have to write bigger number, then a smaller number, then a smaller number. Suppose that you are arranging this number according to descending order. It means do opposite. One thousand, then hundred. Then ninety nine, then five, then three. It means this is descending order. Now I am going to teach you topic number six: formation of greatest and smallest number. You have to given different type of digits. You have to arrange greatest number and smallest number. Which type you can do? Formation of greatest and smallest number. It means you have to given different type of digits. Look, three, five, two, zero, one. You have to arrange the greatest number from the given digits. How can you arrange? First, you have to write the greatest number, greatest digit. The greatest number. It means five. Then you will write three. Then you will write two. Then you will write one. Then you will write zero. You can arrange also according to Indian place by the chart. Then after three digits, you will write comma. Then write comma. It means sorry. It means fifty-three thousand two hundred ten. This is the biggest number. Prepared by this digits. Now I am arranging the a smallest number. A smallest number means you have not to write zero first because if we write zero, it means only four digits number prepared. So first we will write one, the a smallest number. It means one zero two three five. You can. I write according to Indian place value chart. It means ten thousand two hundred thirty-five. So I have understood that you all have learned about the formation of greatest and smallest number. Now <coughs> I am teaching you about rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers means you have to write the nearest number, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousand. If you want to write hundreds, you have to look the tens digits. If you want to write nearest thousand, it means you have to look 
hundred digits. If you want to ten thousand, it means you have to look thousands digit. Look, for example, you have to arrange nearest hundred. Nearest hundred of five hundred ninety nine. It means you have to look tens digit. Once tens. If tens digit will leave five or more than five, it means if you will you will one add, then you will get. Five hundred ninety-nine plus one is equal to six hundred. It is the nearest hundred of given number. It means five hundred ninety-nine nearest hundred is six hundred. Now I am giving you example of thousands. You have to write nearest thousand. Nearest thousand. Number has been given five thousand three hundred twenty-two. I have told you that if you want to write nearest thousand, you have to look hundred digit. Hundred digit should be leave five or more than five, then you will add one in thousand. If not leave, then leave same to same, and all digit do zero. Here. I am looking that one tens hundred, one is three hundred, less than five. So you have not to do anything. And nearest thousand is five thousand. This is the nearest thousand. Means nearest thousand of five thousand three hundred twenty-two is five thousand. Now I am going to teach you about nearest ten thousand. Nearest ten thousand. It means you have to look the thousands digit. Look, I am giving example: five, three, six, nine, two, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. You have to write the nearest ten thousand. It means you have to look thousand digits. Here thousand digit is only three, not five or more than five. So you have write. Nearest ten thousand number is fifty thousand. But if you will find five or more than five, then you will write plus one. Then if you will get nearest ten thousand. For example, I am giving other number. Look, if you want to write nearest ten thousand of seven five. Two, one, two. This is the seventy-five thousand two hundred twelve, and I want to write nearest ten thousand. It means eighty thousand. Why? Because here one stays hundred thousand ten thousand hundred two and ten thousand seven, but thousand is five. And I have said that leave five or more than five, then you will add one. So I am adding one and writing all digit zero. So this is the eighty thousand. So students, I have understood that you have all have understood about this all topic. So you have to solve related exercise and labor hard in your house. Thank you.